Cacophony Society at the latter part of the 20th century, um, and, and, um, and that's why we're here today. Um, so, uh, my name is Michael M. And, uh, stop it. So, uh, there, there are three people, uh, well actually only two of them are here today. Uh, Carrie Galbraith, who is our uh, Trusty Remington provider Woo! and minder. Yay! Right there. Yay! And Mr. John Law on the front row. Yay! And, and Kevin Evans, who drew this picture with his computer. Yay! Yay! And, and, uh, and the three of them took it upon themselves to uh, create a history of something called the San Francisco Cacophony Society, something that begat Cacophony Societies in other locales, and uh, also uh, a thing called Burning Man, and a thing called Brides of March and Sanarchy, and, uh, and, and, and set the, uh, the art car thing on its way, and many, many, many other things. And I had the pleasure in the very late part of the 20th century to be a part of some of those events uh, at, at, in one phase of the Cacophony Society. Um, and so as John and Carrie and Kevin Evans uh, put this book together, I was like, well, you know, what we need to do, you're writing the textbook for how these fun things happen. Uh, we need to do a lab of it too. We need to do an accompanying uh, some of the events because the thing that's about you know um, punk and hippies and you know different different movements and things that happen at different times. And sometimes there's there's a thing about that moment in time. But but what I love about Cacophony Society is by and large the stuff Cacophony Society did. You don't need to be in the 80s or 90s or 70s or anything. You can do these things uh, in your own homes and in the streets of San Francisco today. So what? Um, look out for this book and, and get it. And when I, when I talk to these guys and when I talk to um, uh, Louise uh, Jermilowitz, who's here as well, who's another Woo! long time person, when I talk to them about the events that were, uh, the, the first events, some of the first events they mentioned to me as we started talking about doing a few events again, was the Exquisite Corpse events. And it was really significant. It was very clear. They meant something to them and something really special happened. I think it has to do with the fact that everybody gets to participate and they get to watch something happen in front of them. So, um, Louise, wherever you are, and Carrie, wherever you have gone to, please stand up and, and let's give it a Because they were, uh, they uh, helped, and, and Chandler White, who's here as well, Chandler. So, so rather than reading the history books about what the Surrealists did, I was able to talk to them about what exactly they had done to do this kind of event, and then we took it and we mutated it some more because that's what you do. So, um, so we have put together an incredible cast of characters uh, and, and actors. Uh, to to uh, put this little play thing that you put together um, uh, it, uh, alive, make it make it live in front of you. So um, we're going to uh, now. I think if, if we're ready, does somebody Question. know is the, is the cast? Uh, you want me to make sure you're ready? Michael? Yeah. You wake up the cast. Uh, yes. You wake up that cast. Yes, uh, the artist in the third row. Um, so yeah, so. Louise and those guys did it once upon a time, and you're helping put this on now. So my question is, who's going to put on the next one? You are. That's you are. are. Yeah. 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 Walk right into that one, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 
that is the answer. If you are asking that question, then that needs to be your answer. <laughs> if you want it to happen again, you need to make it happen. Um, but I, I do want to say thank you actually for asking that because um, I am, uh, I do a lot of theater stuff around here. I, actually, the other, the other person that this could not have happened with in any way is uh, a woman named Ty McKenzie. <laughs> Something, something I forgot to say is that what's different about this than the typical play you might go out to in San Francisco is that it's for you may have noticed you didn't pay anything at the door, what? right? What? Yeah. So, so yeah. it's the second. nature of the coffee events that they are free and that they are available and open to people that are enthusiastic and are going to bring their creativity to it. So um, that could not have happened in San Francisco of all places unless the venue owner, who's an amazing person, made this freely available to us, yeah. and so we can make it. Yeah. As the greatest future novelists and playwrights of your evening, you are currently mingling with and interacting with the characters whom you will now endow with the properties of speech and clever, witty, noir dialogue. It is your duty, nay obligation to society, to write lines of dialogue that we will perform for you in just a few moments here on our humble stage. You've met the characters, they are labeled like myself. You will, uh, they will pass by you. At the same time, we also have roving reporters who may come and ask you for a line or two of monologue for our intrepid detective, Jake Hammer. Tonight, in his greatest adventure, and indeed, his only adventure to date, the Steel Prey Fog. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Please allow the muse to speak to you and uh, avail yourselves to the writer's room located just through that doorway. Thank you. Oh. We also have interrogation scenes. If anyone is uh, is frightened by laptops or other electronic devices, we have low-end technology. Yes, Professor Snoochin here is terrified. The interrogation scene is our most low-tech, indeed Luddite, feature of the evening. Questions in bucket one, answers in bucket two, conveniently mar marked with the sing simple single signals Q and A, meaning question one and answer. Now, I think one. they got that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. The question being the questioning part, answer being the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we're going to have your attention. We are ready to begin our writing. Yes? Yeah. What's that? This is some excellent. Right. So, everyone, everyone, if I can have your attention, I will conduct you through the evening. Um, we are in the writing phase of our evening. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Where's it, Corpse Noir? We're so glad to have you here. I'm going to go a couple confusing directions and then we can get started. Uh, we have a table of delicious things up here. We have writing that is going on in the back room. We're taking three people at a time and uh, and and we will uh, we have three myself, uh, this this doctor here, and this gentleman, Stanley Flowers, I believe. Flowers, Stanley. Wait, Flowers, Stanley, uh, who, who will be escorting you there. We will periodically, Take one of us will be coming out here and asking for three people to come back and write. Not everyone will have a chance to write in the back, however. We have two other ways you can write. We have the lovely Molly Greer, who will be taking a certain number of lines for our detective's opening monologue. He's my boss. The closing monologue is being tapped out on a Remington, a vintage Remington, which you can hear more about uh, when our, you, you work with our lovely assistant there uh, to, to write that. And as mentioned, we have the questions and answers. Everyone should write several questions and answers. They will be matched up later on, and you may need to say that answer yourself to defend yourself from being prosecuted wrongly, so make sure it's a good question. Just write questions that an interrogator might ask and answers that an innocent or guilty person might reply with. No, nothing is wrong. All your writing is right tonight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nothing wasted a big dog. Yeah, let's train you a little more this way. Come forward a little bit. There you go. Let's see you. All right. 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 All Joe? I see you, you Cher? Joe. Or Charo? What's, what's your name? Bro. Bro, but nobody in California has a last name. That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, we got some uh, questions? Yeah, we got uh, some questions. Which, we're, uh, we're Stanley all right. Flowers? Yeah. Remember Stanley him? Stanley Flowers in front of the apartment, but I ain't got no questions. What are questions? my questions? Questions, questions, questions. Here's the question. Here's the question. Here's the question. All right. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's just like uh, some kind of game, right? <laughs> Got it. Advanced interrogation technique. All right. All right, no comments from the peanut gallery. At this point, you're all under suspicion. Of what? Who, me? I don't know yet. <laughs> you, Pinky. <Will> you please... <laughs> Will you please give your... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're apparently going to get to look at our... Wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell? Will you please give your colon a rest for once? You and what army? Yeah. I knew he was going to say that. All right. All right, your turn, Crutch. All right, okay, now this is a tough one. And why won't you dance? Wait. Don't answer that. Wait. Answer that. Why won't you dance? He was alive when I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. Hey, you don't have to be so neat about it. Just throw him on the floor. Janitor will get it. You, was Professor Snoochin in the confessional booth with you? Limburger, Swiss, and Goldfish. <laughs> nice work, Raul. Just like we talked about. Hey, no comments in the peanut gallery. This is the police department, all right? They need more answers. All right, listen to me. Where are you going? Where are you going? Stand here. They need answers. Are you, are you a suspect? Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Answer, Get on with it, Kreblach. All right, I got one for you. Joe. <laughs> what time did you arrive at the... Train station. Bermuda shorts stained with scrotum cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stuff that cat? I like that cat. Yes, my penis will scrub it as hard and fast as I want. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. Okay, I gotta get a white jacket. Oh, I got a white jacket. All right, I got one for you. What was your name again? Raul. Raul, good. Raul. You and Charo and Cher. And where did you get a... No, wait a minute. You don't answer until I ask you. Where did you get a bloke with a mug like that? On my brain. <laughs> Joe, where are Hamnesia's poils? That doesn't sound like any question I'd answer. Whoa! Whoa, a tough guy! A bunch of wiseacres! Whoa, wait a minute. You know what? I think Veronica, Raul, you're free to leave. Pinky, we're going to need you for a couple more questions. Yeah, Pinky's got to stick around. Sweat that guy. Come on, let's sweat that guy. There's no blind in the interrogation room, is there? All right, Pinky, we narrowed things down to 
to you. <laughs> Take it away. All right. Okay. Yeah, answer this. Seriously. Okay, this, your, your freedom depends on this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one's coming with me. He needs something. All right. This is Joe, right? Okay. Do you smell something Elvis like? <laughs> Let the record show he's reaching for his own answers now. <laughs> We're officially on the self search system of justice. I like it. Yeah. All right, Crotch Rod, I'll take it from here. <laughs> crotch it's Shre it's Shrek Schleck. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. We translated. Even I gotta write it down. <laughs> Would it be accurate to classify your relationship with your Aunt Gertrude as, shall we say, beyond familiar?
streets were wet with sweat. <laughs> he picked up his umbrella and flicked off the snow. <laughs> he had stogies under his hat. <laughs> she hit me like a handbag full of bricks. <laughs> I wish I was good enough to be humble. <laughs> Because I wouldn't trust Jake Hammer with my ex-wife's poodle. <laughs> the emu ran through the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> he wasn't just any mug, he was trouble. <laughs> Jake Hammer, write that down. <laughs> he was a charmer, but he was also a bastard. He in gloriously handsome clothes. <laughs> the high price of fish these days. <laughs> so, how many of you people own an automatic or semi-automatic weapon? And if so, why? Because I'm just wondering why you have it. Are you like an alien or a terrorist? Because we'll have a DNA test later, and everyone here will be swabbed. <laughs> So when I found the guy, he was wearing a sash, I think it was plaid, and I thought, this is the 20s, no one wears plaid, and he threw his gun in the bushes. So speaking of rats, Molly, will you get me some rat, rat, rat poison? This place is overrun. I know it's a miracle that on a dark night like this, I'm able to stand up before you. You see, I don't have any knees. <laughs> And you might say my shins aren't all that to look at either. And my feet, we have fought. And my toes, they have gone and goes. I might be half a man, but I'm still twice the man you all are. <laughs> Well, that was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're, uh, we, we uh, are, there's so many words that you people wrote. Uh, it's taken slightly longer to provide our actors with documentation of those words. So, um, I, think, uh, I think we may need to have a interrogational interlude. <laughs> Did you say ham? Interrogation. I need three volunteers, and I'll pick them. <laughs> You got another big question. question. I got questions. Answer? Question. Questions? Questions. Give me the rat fur. Answer. Do you have more questions? Questions. You don't want my questions. Tell you in the Dr. House show. You better put some money. Don't make a joke. 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 All right. All right. A lot of verbosity here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you. Give me a little answer. Come on, Darla. Look who it is! San Francisco's most notorious Madam Darla Pearls! Oh, yeah. I don't like them, Miss Sam! It's the, it's the hurdy gurdy man from my own bar! Come on down, Sam, you can answer a few questions. I need three more volunteers, and I pick you, you, and you. <laughs> I don't want to, but I'm getting paid for this, okay? <laughs>
Go ahead. I want all, all of my interrogators. Look, look at me, okay? Hey, excuse me, flat shirt guy. You from Seattle? Okay. You gotta, you, you gotta speak up. You gotta speak up because I'm kind of hard of hearing. I've been out on the firing range too much. And Mr. Uh, Plaid Shirt, I got a question for you. It's Sam. It's Sam. Sam, okay, I'm sorry we got name tags on it. Sam. Why don't, why don't we ask him their name? It's upside down. It's his boss. Yeah, it's my father. Darla, Darla Pearls, <laughs> and. Oh! Vivian. Oh. Vivian the Magnificent. Vivian O. Oh. Vivian, 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 Sam, and Carl. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Wait, 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 wait. So the only straight answers we're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming out of the closet. Okay, <laughs> Moss, who, ha who has the muggles? You'll never get it out of me, copper. <laughs> <laughs> gotta watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor. Trust me. <laughs> All right, Mr. Fleurs. You saw me in half. Yeah, that could happen. All right, Mr. Fleurs. Flowers. Flowers, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Does that smell you? <laughs> Forty-two. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Evasive, evasive, evasive. It's always 42. All right, wait a minute. You know one thing we forgot? Yeah, it is always 42. We forgot, we, we forgot Miranda. Oh, that's right, she's not here tonight. Okay. We don't get Miranda tonight. Okay. All the points. Vivian. Okay, yeah. look at me. Yeah. Focus. Focus. What? Your, your, what? your freedom depends on this. Would you like a donut? <laughs> Magic gas. That's a lot. That's an expensive donut. That's a real way to donut. So, flat boy. <laughs> You tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> it was because of a crack pipe. <laughs> and all that crack. <laughs> the crack explains it. I got crack. All right, kids. Don't do a drug name after a part of your body. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is as high as I can show. Are you being dramatic? Mr. White Jacket and Vivian, get, get a room. Like <laughs> a right. lawyer. Pearl, Pearl. Pearl. Are you still drugging and fondling your children? <laughs> Don't you see? I had to do it. You don't understand. <laughs> if it wasn't me, it would have been someone else. <laughs> I don't believe you, Hammer. Whoever 
never said I was remotely believable. <laughs> I have a little blind, uh, I have a little bit of blind faith, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Papakasis yelled from somewhere outside the office. <laughs> Bring on the telephone. <laughs> I hear the phone ringing. <laughs> I hope it's not that damn Professor Snooten. <laughs> anyway, it is. It is him. I know this, even though I don't know where the telephone is. Think <laughs> about the cocktail shaker. It's him. Ah, it is. <laughs> Let me just plug this in. <laughs> damn. Damn. Did you have it tested for arsenic? Ryzen? I'm, I'm working on that. <laughs> that's Snoochin, that's Snoochin. Trying to solve this mystery before I have a chance. Miss Weird, get on that. Call the lab, damn it. Molly cannot hear Jake Hammer because she is busy making a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen that chicken? <laughs> Pandemonium rings! As everyone the looks for a Where's chicken! Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? <laughs> A loud pounding is heard on the door. Everyone freezes. Now what? Enter Joey Papacostas. <laughs> Are you Jake Hammer? <laughs> Who wants to know? Delivery! <laughs> Joey tosses the shooting giant robot on the desk. <laughs> Somebody help him, that's just sad. <laughs> 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 Joey tosses the shooting giant robot on the desk. <laughs> you think that pea shooter's gonna scare Widow Joey? Why? When I grow up, I'm gonna program robots to eat you. Joey? Huh? <laughs> Joey, you said we could go to Coney Island today. Cycles up to him seductively. <laughs> <laughs> Molly pulls a flower lay from her bosom. Oh. <laughs> and I've got just the things to wear. <laughs> 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 what is this? Like a, a clothesline of gardenias? <laughs> Rump of roses? What is it? <laughs> I gotta get shaken. Coney Island awaits. Jake Hammer shakes his martini shaker. I'm gonna get you to go to the island. Better than Fantasy Island, I tell ya. Coney Island. I'm gonna get a corn dog. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> Joey reaches out to hold on to Eddie the zipper. Feeling around for the leg. Uh, hey, 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 easy, guy, easy. Molly starts to tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, on show line. Now's not a good time. <laughs> What's happening? Is it time for the cocktail yet? Definitely. It's definitely time for a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> scene two, a crime scene at a major university. This might get interesting. <laughs> I don't say that. At a major university, a crime has occurred. The police have just left. Professor Snoochin, a professor, 
with an accent, <laughs> is talking to Hamnesia, who has amnesia. <laughs> Generally, universities are located center stage. <laughs>
<laughs> Suddenly, Joey Papa Costas enters the scene. Again? Liminally. <laughs> 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 I knew you weren't blind. <laughs> I'm not sick. What are you implying with your fancy hat and your shiny shoes? Where is that thing I was looking for? Sometime in the past or the future? Uh, with the furry or what was it? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're all guilty. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't know any better. <laughs> you're all spending a night in the slammer, see? Because the jigger, as they say, is up. Oh! Jake walks over to the most suspicious character in the room and fits them with the silver jigger. Who's got the jigger? You're the most suspicious person. <laughs> It fits perfectly. <laughs> As he leads them off to jail, the gourd in the corner chuckles sinisterly to its way, sister. And a scene two. intermission followed by a 20 minute intermission. <laughs> we have one scene left, people. How you doing? Yay! I'm glad everything's going according to plan. Yeah. Uh, enjoy yourselves for a moment. We'll be back. Where's the wine? Free drinks for anyone who can fix a printer. <laughs> Before we before we go to our third and final scene, and, and thank you again everybody for, for writing it, um, uh, we're gonna have our last round in QA, and this is what is known as the sudden death round. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's sudden death for us. Where uh, where each of the interrogators is going to take six questions, stand at opposite sides, and ask each other a question and answer in turn. Uh, while walking towards each other until they kiss or whatever wow. happens. Uh, <laughs> it's like Jerry Springer. Yeah, just put, 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 put a bunch in one pocket and a bunch in the other, right? Sure. Just like we did at rehearsal. <laughs> Ha! In my ass, 
I stuck it in my ass. <laughs> Mark on your ass. <laughs> what is that mark on your ass? <laughs> that, that's the question. What is that mark? No, this lady. <laughs> Security. <laughs> what is that mark on your? Bottom line. I've got low blood sugar. <laughs> <laughs> said dryly. <laughs> How late should one be for their own funeral? <laughs> I'm blind, man. I didn't see it. Can you see that fucking E-Tide? E this is Fish Tide. Park <laughs> Suck Stroke Dog. <laughs> This is fish fry. Come on, find some more. Find some more, guys. Those ears are still there. Hold up in court. Uh, I'm fine. I don't have trace. <laughs> Objection. Uh, all right, you got one more for me? I do. And it's, a, it's an answer. <laughs> oh, I have a question. I have a question. Excuse me, I got a question. Where? Exactly, were you when the last of her bikini floated off? <laughs> A butt plug. This is the full size book. If you haven't looked at it yet, uh, feel free to. Yay! Yeah. Woo! And how can you tell if that's a dangerous book, Michael? Woo! Uh, how can you tell if that's a dangerous book? Uh, if it weighs three pounds, yeah. you can use it as a weapon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. John only writes books that can be used as weapons. The yeah. other ones are smaller, but they sharpen them to a fine. <laughs> um, and and uh, Carrie and or John or Louise. Um, first of all, is this exactly how they went, uh, the original one? Exactly. <laughs> right now, the questions are the same. Yeah, the question, yeah. Well, it's the same <laughs> script, right? Uh, and and are, are the corpses in, are, are the exquisite corpses in here? Where's, yes, it is. Oh, it is it? Yeah. Not any beds. Awesome. Um, Do you have any new copies? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> they fell off the back of the truck. It just happened. So, yeah, um, shipped it from China. It took a while. And now the exciting conclusion of the steel gray thump. Woo! <laughs> Scene three, a cocktail lounge. The big confrontation. Line them up lucky, the bartender, fills Jake Hammer's glass with Hungarian potato whiskey. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> When suddenly, two characters burst into the otherwise deserted bar. Two! The professor, Schnuckett, and Eddie. The bee. The bee. You found it. Yeah, and it wasn't easy, it wasn't clean. It doesn't matter. The bee is the key. The important thing is that you have it. Now give it to me. Not so fast. Let's see the dough. Lucky to Jake. Hey, Jake! Check those two out! I don't like the way they smell! I think I know what you mean, but what about... But what about... The door swings open, and Joey Papacostas walks in, followed by a cloud of jarum clothes Cigarettes. <laughs> oh, now, what do you gotta bring that stench in Somebody here for? Does this look like a goth club to you? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That bee looks a little agitated. <laughs> Molly 
sautés into the seat. Saunters. <laughs> Wants to know. <laughs> I gotta fill out a form or something? <laughs> Molly places one hand on her shapely hip. <laughs> waits impatiently for her boss's next wise remark. Needless to say, she doesn't have long to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Too long for us. <laughs> Sweetheart, if I thought you could fill out a form, I would have given you a raise by now. <laughs> if I thought you had a brain, I'd ask you out on a date. <laughs> hey, you know, it's getting hot in here. Can someone open up a window? Someone open a window. Get me a drink. Now, where were we? I'm all out of the good stuff, Jake. <laughs> you had good stuff? <laughs> Amnesia enters with a binocular case. <laughs> why do I sell, smell something fishy all of a sudden? You always smell something fishy. That's why it's good to have you around. You're a lucky charm or something. <laughs> yeah, always after my lucky charms. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot why I was here. <laughs> you want a strength bump? Uh, sure, only I can't remember what I like. <laughs> Line him up, Luggy, pours him a large bourbon from a secret compartment inside the bee. <laughs> <laughs> And see whether I should ice this guy. This guy? Maybe. Or whether I should put ice in his drink. <laughs> did you say drink? Yeah, I did say I'm a woman of class and means. I may be a secretary, but I have my standards. <laughs> what they are is the question. Pink hot water bottle? Oh, you noticed. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is. It's a... It's a security blanket. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> a security blanket for security secretary. Actually, I, I need the hot water bottle for my tum tum. <laughs> With all this activity around here, gumshoes, bibs, ne'er-do-wells, parkies on the make, lovers in the afterglow, well, I, I, I need something that brings solace. Now, the fact that I'm on my period and my gut feels like the third moon of Jupiter, it's none of your damn business why I have my hot water bottle! This <laughs> talk of a female under the influence of the moon reminds me of long, long ago, back in Bavaria, or, or Napa. <laughs> <laughs> We're in love. Me, a distinguished professor with sore feet, and her, the best podiatrist in Northern California. She fixed my feet and fixed my broken heart. You mean, you mean Dr. Jowitz? No, no, her name was Karen Jowitz. Yeah! And she was a doll. Oh, the pain has returned. My feet speak to me of the lost, and so clearly is apparent shared lover. I must sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you about Dr. Jowitz. She... Uh, <laughs> Night falls. Last call! <laughs> my last call. My minutes are almost up for this <laughs> oh. Wouldn't be your last call if you wouldn't have spent all your minutes on that do-nothing filly. <laughs> all right, all right. Back to the matter at hand. Molly, 
My dice, please. Actually, dice is plural. Die is the singular, and unless it's German, and then I believe it's dare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'll roll the die. Even if he dies, even he dies, odd he lives. Jake casts the die. Cast the die. <laughs> cast the fuck out of it. It's the best casting I've seen all night. <laughs> Announces result. <laughs> that was the result. <laughs> so you may think, Herr Professor. However, there's a small detail you missed. We have the bee's knees. <laughs> slumber. The morning's hangover would be epic, as noteworthy as the fat lady's last final screech. Egads! I couldn't live with knowing that was the last thing I would ever hear. So I made a sobbing sound and shot my ear off. <laughs> Scream really loud, my dog will hear you. <laughs> and he's waiting, and he gets real hungry for meat about now. <laughs> Let me give you the address. <laughs> Got a pen? Good. The, 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 uh, forget about it already. This is getting us nowhere fast. <laughs> How am I going to explain my way out of this? I ain't going to be no fall guy. I can tell you that for sure. I can tell you this much, and I mean every word, and I crossed every T and dotted every I as I waved goodbye to this bittersweet thing called life. It's not what it seems. However, even under the most profound circumstances, life grants us pause to consider its true meaning, where we finally give race to its lasting gists. <laughs> <laughs> Why do good men do evil deeds? When she entered our lives, were any of us prepared to give her her due? All I know is the sound, the scent, the sweet melody of her lips. I always knew she was trouble. But it was the kind of trouble I liked. I'm a man who likes his heart broken. Broken good. <laughs> she was a PhD at breaking hearts. <laughs> and I was a milk-fed freshman. <laughs> Some hearts are harder to break than others. God, I miss Coney Island. <laughs> As I watched her shapely ass shimmy off into the distance, I jumped on my Palomino <laughs> while the ship sailed off into the distance and the sun set slowly behind the... <laughs> <laughs>
fat asses and did nothing tonight while we all worked. Thank you very much. You're awesome. This may just happen again.